Welcome to our Spotlight segment. Tonight, we're going to chat about rookie sensation Yogi Ferrell. Yogi was playing for the Nets' D-League affiliate, where he averaged 18.7 points and 5.8 assists. He then played 10 games with the Brooklyn Nets, averaging 5.4 points in 15 minutes before being waived on December 8th. Now the young point guard plans to sign a two-year minimum deal with the Dallas Mavericks when his 10-day contract expires today. The Mavs are 4-1 and since signing Farrell, who was forced into an immediate starting role due to injuries. He has averaged 17.8 points, 5 assists, and just under 2 steals in 37.5 minutes per game during Dallas's first four-game winning streak of the season. Farrell has outplayed San Antonio's Tony Parker, Cleveland's Kyrie Irving, and Portland's Damian Lillard during his 10-day deal, highlighted by his 32-point performance against the Trailblazers. Tonight, Chuck Walton and Coach Miller give us a closer look at Yogi Farrell. Thanks, Myra. All right, Coach. Listen, Yogi Ferrell, it's been a wild ride. What can you tell us about him? The luckiest man in the world. Think about this, Chuck. He was an Indiana Hoosier. He goes undrafted. The Brooklyn Nets pick him up. He plays about 10 games before they wave him in December. Then he's sent to the D-League. Most guys, your career is over before it ever started. But the Dallas Mavericks needed a point guard. Darren Williams on the shelf. J.J. Barrera hurt. Pierre Jackson, who they had on a 10-day contract, he gets injured. All of a sudden, when your number's called, if you've got game, the cream always rises to the top. His first four games with the Mavericks, they go 4-0. and His work ethic is contagious. He's got a game that fits the system. Dreams do come true if you work at it and you never give up. This kid turned a 10-day contract into a two-year contract. All right, Coach, as you know, life's all about opportunities. I always say that opportunity breeds excellence. But for Yogi Ferrell, he's taking down names like Damian Lillard, Kyrie Irving, and the legendary Tony Parker. Uh, just tell us about this kid overall. What impresses you the most about young Yogi Ferrell? Well, I think it's his guts, Chuck. When you think about it, his first game out, Tony Parker, he drops nine points and seven assists. And you're like, okay, the next game, Kyrie Irving, he drops 19. But I thought the killer was against the Portland Trailblazers with Damian Lillard. He drops 32 points, 19 seconds left in that game. He hits a three-point dagger. He was nine from 11 from three. But the key was he shut down and he really made Lillard a volume shooter. Not all of us in the media, we think that's pretty good. But to him, that's just another day at the office. He doesn't care who he plays against. He's a competitor. If you've got game, you can get it done. All right, Coach. Yogi Ferrell is playing on a minimum contract right now for the Dallas Mavs. But owner Mark Cuban, we know he likes to make big splashes. Does Yogi Ferrell stay with his team? And how does he fit into this current roster in the long term for the Mavs? Well, I think he definitely stays with his team. And you mentioned a splash. Man, he's had a big one. And I know it's just a small sample size, Chuck, only four games, but he's dropping 18 points a game, five dimes. And what's been most impressive to me, he's shooting the ball with great confidence, 52% from the long ball. Now, when you think about fit, Rick loves a scorer's mentality. This kid is in attack mode. He understands spacing. He's able to put the ball on the floor and get to the rim with ease and finish. And he draws so much attention from multiple defenders that he frees others up. I think he fits in the core. Now, the problem with Dallas, Dirk's in the home run trot. They need superstars. But if they can develop this group, play on. All right, Coach. Now, when the season first began, the Mavs, in my opinion, looked like one of the worst teams in basketball. They were down there with the lowly Brooklyn Nets. But they've strung together a couple wins. Uh, it's still early, but how if at all is possible, do the Mavs make the playoffs or at least make a run at the playoffs? Chuck, let's start with the how. They've got to get healthier. Now, I think they've got the pieces, and they certainly have a great head coach. Rick Carlisle, one of the best X and O guys in the business. But the if, that's a bigger issue. That's a Cuban decision. Do you want to chase number eight? Because if you get it, and they possibly could, you get swept in the first round by the Golden State Warriors. Or do you want to eye the lottery pick? The sun is settling with Dirk. Harrison Barnes is good. I like Wes Matthews. I like Seth Curry. I like Yogi Mania. But they don't have any superstars. That's a decision Cubans got to make. 
Remember, he's competitive, and in Texas, they do it big.